Hi, this is Noel with Creation Effects here with another Creation Lens Flares tutorial. And Creation Lens Flares is an After Effects template that gives you an easy way to make high quality lens flare effects without the use of plugins. And this time I'll be talking about a feature called the Expressions Library. A cool thing about slider controls is that they can be keyframed, which means that every property of every element in the Creation Lens Flares template can be animated. But that can also be a major pain if your lens flare moves around a lot and you want properties to change with the motion. There is a way to essentially program the properties of your lens flare so that they change or evolve automatically when the lens flare moves around. And that kind of animation is something that I've called evolution. And you can get that kind of control from this comp here, the Expressions Library. Now, like many After Effects users, I was intimidated by expressions for a long time before I started using them and finding out that they're really not that scary. But if you're one of those people, you don't have to worry. You can stay intimidated because all you have to do to use this feature is cut and paste. When you're in the expressions comp, you'll see a bunch of layers and each one has a different expression and different controls to go with it. To find out what an expression does, just unhide the layer and you can read a description of it in your composition window here. I've put these in order of the ones I felt were most useful with the less useful ones at the bottom. Let's look at this first evolution effect called basic time or motion evolution. And what this does is just a basic change in value as the layer gets closer or further from the center of the comp. So I'm going to go to my elements comp and I'll unhide this light rays element. I can edit the brightness using the brightness slider, but I'd like to make it so that the element dims automatically as it gets further from the center of the comp. I'm going to go to my expressions library and select the basic time or motion evolution layer. And first I'll copy these slider controls in the effects panel. I'll be sure to select the top item first, which is this effect title, and then I'll shift select the bottom slider control, and this will preserve their order. I'll just copy those, Command C or Control C, and I'll paste them into my light rays layer and they'll appear at the bottom in the control panel here. And I'll close my title up because I like to keep things tidy. I still need to copy the expression over, so I'll go back to my expression layer. The expressions are all found in the opacity parameter of their layer. So you can go down here to Opacity and open that. Or I'll just use the After Effects shortcut to reveal expressions, which is tapping the E key twice. And I'll click on the code to select it and then copy it. Go back to my Elements Comp and then paste it into the Brightness slider control. And to open up the expression box, you can Alt-click this little stopwatch icon here and then paste it in there. And I said I want it to get less bright as it moves away from the center, so I'll use a negative number on this evolution control to make the value decrease. And now when you move the control layer, you can see this nice automatic effect. Now let's say I don't want the element to start dimming until it gets about this far away, about 600 pixels from the center. Well then I can go to the start evolution slider control and just enter in 600. And if I wanted to make my whole lens flare dim and not just this element, I could do this whole process on the global brightness slider control on my control layer. This is just the tip of the iceberg really because you can go so much further with evolution in the expression library. I changed the brightness in this example, but you can put an evolution expression on any slider control or effect that you want. And the different expressions in the library all do different things. Let's look at the second expression. Wiggle with markers. With this one you can make a value fluctuate randomly. So placed on a brightness control slider, that would result in a flicker effect. And using the markers you can set it to start wiggling when the layer reaches 700 pixels from the center of the comp, and then have it end when it reaches 900 pixels from the center. This next expression here, Single Axis Motion Evolution, lets you change a value based on movement just along one axis, rather than its distance from the center, which gives the evolution some randomness. And the next one is called exponential value change. So suppose you put this on an expansion slider control. Rather than the element getting steadily bigger as the layer moves away from the center, it will start out by expanding very slowly, and as it gets further away, it will expand more and more rapidly. And these next two expressions let you set up to six different value changes at different distances from the center, almost as if you put six keyframes on the value, 
only it's all automatic with the movement away from the center. For example, you could tell the value to be at 0 at the center, 50 at 300 pixels from the center, 150 at 400 pixels from the center, and so on. These expressions are used throughout the presets, and you'll know them by their titles, which actually use acronyms since there isn't enough room to write it all out. So here in this preset, if I select the starburst element, you can see we have WWM on radius. And that stands for a wiggle with markers expression on the radius slider control. A final note about adding expressions, you can add more than one expression to any element. But keep in mind, there can't be more than one slider control of the same name on any one element, because the expressions, which point to the slider controls, will only recognize the first one. If you know you want more than one evolution effect on an element, and some of their control sliders share the same name, what you can do is edit the names of the slider controls before you copy them over to your element. I'll usually make a copy of the layer with the expression, so I don't have to edit the original layer. And then in the duplicate layer, I'll rename these so that they have a number 2 on them. And when you rename them, it will update the expression so that they point to the new names. And then I'll just go through the normal process of copying these slider controls over to my element, and then copying and pasting the expression. And it's very important to follow that order. Be sure to always copy the slider controls before you copy the expression, or you'll get an error. So that's evolution and the expression library. Be sure to check out the effects library tutorial for more cool ways to alter elements.